Hello everyone and welcome to another EC QuickBooks tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to import bank transactions into QuickBooks Online. Now this will work with any checking account that has a CSV download and also it works great with PayPal. Now I have connected PayPal in the past by doing connect account but that does not work very well because of the negative and positives that PayPal creates your holding account um, so th don't do it that way it creates a mess um, you can also use the PayPal app now that QuickBooks online has created that works great um, but I'm going to show you this other way now in order to import your bank feeds manually you need to go into transactions go into banking in this bank section we're going to go to file upload we're going to hit upload and now it's asking us to upload our file and we can actually upload these types of formats I'm going to do a CSV from PayPal so I'm going to browse to upload my file to file open and then I'm gonna hit next the bottom right and then it says what accounts do I want to import I want to import into the PayPal bank account now just so you know these accounts were created because I tested the PayPal app so this is was created by um, the PayPal QuickBooks online app okay so I have chosen my account and now I'm going to hit next and in this section it only allows us to have three columns so your CSV file should have the date your description or your the name of the transactions and the amount that's all you need so it has chosen the date now we need the name and the amount is gross and it does have a um, header row so I checked on that and it has uh, both positive and negative numbers you want to use that um, if it has negative and positive numbers on that amount row which PayPal does if you have a refund okay so we're gonna keep it like this and we're gonna hit next at the bottom right, uh, bottom right and here are my transactions as you can see the date description and amount so this means I have no errors if you would have errors you would have a lot of you know red <laughs> information missing information it would tell you that it was not successful but this is telling me that it's reading my CSV file so I'm gonna hit next it says QuickBooks will import four transactions using the fields you've chosen do you want to import now so if everything looks good just hit yes and it should import your file it says yay bank file successful I'm gonna hit finished and here is my PayPal account as you saw before there was um, there was no PayPal but it has uploaded my file so now I can go ahead and name it put a vendor categorize it and add it to my register and that's all you need in order to import your files manually. Thank you for joining us in this QuickBooks tutorial. Please subscribe to my QuickBooks channel and also go check out my website at ecquickbookstraining.com for more premium tutorials. Thank you for joining us.